like Mama Hyde might didn't cherish her last go at her. A fair assessment, Brother Linus. Or perhaps they finally possessed the necessary intel to make their strike. Lord Kirkman, I have urgent news. Speak quickly. Our coverage scans have identified the incoming bioships as part of a massive turn of high fleet. By our estimates, there's not enough time to mount a proper defense. I thought as much. At this point, my personal diagnosis is that we are all going to suffer in alien skype performing full body castrations on our innards. Unless we have an exterminatus fleet perform- That's not right, Crippman, and you know it! The planet of Victoria Primus is too valuable to lose, and billions of lives are at stake! We could yet fight back this infestation. We are Death Watch, the shield that slays! We cannot allow ourselves to be so complacent. Did you get your conscription call in a cereal box, you furry fuck? The servants of the Inquisition kill random mortals on a daily basis for that exact reason, Rune Priest. This isn't some gaggle of orcs or a young girl fellatio fraternity. This is an Emperor damned Hive Fleet. They have BILLIONS of warriors! We're not going to push back a tyrannid fleet just by believing in ourselves or the power of friendship or some shit. I don't necessarily disagree with you, Kaleido, but... Did you just call our chapter a bunch of furry fucks, you green leaf lying lout? What? You don't like the sound of it, you savage? Why don't you go howl about it in your shit-filled private quarters? And as for you, you soggy space druid, you act all wise and knowing, but you wouldn't know a tyranny from an elk's hairy ass! Deathwatch, compose yourselves right now! Now that was just uncalled for, Kalato! You better take that back and apologize- Oh, weep me, wind the wolf! Why don't you go fuck a jury? Deathwatch! Compose yourselves this instant, or I will declare exterminatus on this very fucking ship! Fuck you up. think you see me, you gay I'll take Whoa. this fucking power uh, and shove it orders, so far Captain? We, uh, return to our fleet and battle the aliens our way, I guess. Roger, Roger. So, you want to do it, or shall I? Go ahead. Right. <laughs> The poop golem, step back! Ah, no! Where are they? I just cleansed my mind of those filthy, homunculus fucking abominations! Just a prank, idiot. Sorry, not sorry. You fucking ass! Well, now that I have your attention, can we decide upon what to do with the hive fleet, please? The blood ravens have already gone to battle it. The only option will be to wipe out the planet. Um. My lord? This is the point of no return, and you know it. Besides, this is my decision. The problem may be in closer proximity than your specs has told us. I am only here to give my advice, Lord Crippman, and you know that. But, if there is no other choice... Inquisitor, Deathwatch, I really think you should... We are talking and you are not allowed in this quarter, Acolyte! So as I intended on... What?! My caravan's crippled cock! What the fuck is that?! But upon their arrival, the Ordozino warned us of an invasion by a Xeno species called Tight Renids, or something along those lines. They are supposedly deploying an entire fleet's worth on the planet, which is to say a few billion creatures. How are we supposed to judge, jury, and execute our billion enemies? The Remas are enough to kill us all! <sighs> I suppose us battle sisters will first die horribly in order to protect you all. Then you will desperately hold the lines until the arrival of the Adeptus Astatus. Do not fear, noble sororitas. We are here, and we shall assist you in the defense. Ah! Catch the ah! 
Compose yourself, Trigger Witch. Why would you do that? Smarter mode activates as soon as mutants are located. What were you expecting? But I'm a space marine. Look at my armor. Space marines are technically mutants, damn it. I need time to process the fact that I'm not supposed to murder you. You arrived so suddenly, so I couldn't. I'll... I'll accept that excuse for now. For we have a plan to defend. Men and women of the car, we, the Emperor Sothenturi, prepare our verdict. You are the table, you are the sentence, and I am the law! Sure, whatever. Warspec scans report that we're being consumed by a hive ship about ten times bigger than our own vessel. If you look outside the hub lot, you can see the ship being passionately wrapped in an alien meat bun. <sighs> That's one hell of a fellatio! I'm actually impressed! He sense anything, Voland? Uh, my mind is gravely assaulted by visions of tentacular horrors. A shadow in the warp reigns supreme here. I cannot focus. Well, shit, we'll have to rely on logic then. Hasn't been our strong suit thus far, though. Our crew are dead men walking, and aid from the outside is out of the question. What we must do is clear as Amasek. What? Perform collective suicide? We must perform a boarding action onto this hive ship and slay its Norn Queen. The Norn Queen? You mean Mama Hive Mind herself? The beast controlling the entire high fleet, the one that births billions of creatures that make up the entire swarm. That's nonsensical, Lord Crippen. How do we even know the Queen is on this ship? Besides our scan reports, you can always consider that it was capable of swallowing an entire Mars-class battle cruiser. A fair assumption would be that this is the biggest hive ship in our fleet. Bringing the Norn Queen down will sever their synaptic connection with the Hive Mind, and gravely disorient the remainder of the fleet. This is no bad plan on parchment, but the thought of infiltrating a fully functioning Hive ship to kill its queen is... How do I put this? You might as well hop into the Eye of Terror to kidnap a demon Primarch. Do not forget who carries authority here! I have already calculated a hundred potential plans for our boarding action, and I have narrowed it down to one that is less suicidal than the others. Roland, we'll need you. Ah, uh, let me guess. I must conjure a gate of infinity to blindly try and break into the Tyranid ship, correct? Without any idea as to where this will get us? Not blindly. You shall attempt to find the psychic signature of the Norn Queen and lead us to its lair. You think me able to do that? The shadow on the warp is viciously scratching at the gates of my mind. Letting it in would be suicide. Are you a chosen ruined priest of the Death Watch? Or are you a fucking pussy lord? Very well, Inquisitor. I shall do my best. Good people of Victoria Primus, you have proven yourselves willing to defend your home. You have put aside your differences for the sake of this world's safety. I'm betrayed to Parker. Creep. A nice and wholesome act, much like our marshal here would have said. Today, you are all the law. No! Impersonating an officer is highly illegal! Right. And much like the fearsome Sisters of Battle, you are all the fires that shall burn away the enemy. Yay! Quiet! Oh, yikes. Uh, we shall show these to... Uh, is it pronounced Tyranids or Tyranids? 
That is a very controversial topic, Captain. What? Uh, right. Well, we shall show these aliens that the Imperium of Man is united in a singular cause, bringing death to our enemies. And if we die this day, we die in... In glory. We die heroes' deaths, but we shall not die. No, it is the enemy who will taste death and defeat. They defeat? Defeat. I said defeat. Please. I don't want to die! Well, I think I nailed it. Splendid! Beautiful! I cry! <laughs> Hands up! I said Hands up! What? Oh, it has begun. All right, all right. Steady. Steady. Destroy them! Oh! Just some psychic backlash. He will get back to us in short time. Hopefully. This hive ship is huge, though. Finding the queen would be quite the hassle. Ah, I found it! What's this? Sushi with a dick? The Norn Queen's vanguard! Oh, is that right? Done. What? There is it what I do. And what you do is be a triple A plus dickhead! Do you know how rare these occasions to kick ass are? The fuck are you waiting for? Kill the queen while it's not guarded! Psychic assault! We must overcome! To attack! Feels like brain is flying! It probably actually is! Stay strong, sisters! The Emperor is still with us! Purge the unclean! Burn the... What are you doing? Uh, excuse me, Liz. I was just contemplating your taste in prayer. Don't you have a freaking gun to fire? Orders to give? But knowledge is power! Look, we're a bit in the middle of a last stand right now. Oh, uh, looks like she fell. Are you okay, sister? She fell! <laughs> hey, slow cannibalism, Aurelius! No, I fell on the ground, idiot. Oh, baby! We shall not stand the death of our glorious leader! Revenge the fallen hero! What? No, no, no! Hold the lines! Don't mindlessly charge into the ocean of murder blades down there, you- 
Wow, uh, that's brave. I am as religious as any Ecclesia. But what's with your troops having a martyr complex? I wish I was actually dead. Enough of this. Pushing them back at this stage is a fool's errand. They must have a weakness, an Achilles heel. Have you tried contacting the Inquisitor about it? This is not a bad idea. You're welcome, Captain. Just fucking shoot it! Can't move. All pain nerves at maximum capacity. Inquisitor Cryptman, this is Godfrey of the Blood Ravens. I'm busy dying right now. Fuck off! I'm sure, I'm sure. However, I would like some advice on how to fight these aliens. You know, these titronids. Fuck's sake! Just target the big brain ones! Preferably the big banana horned beast! Banana, you say? Because we are very close to passing. Maybe I should throw my shield at it. No, that's that seems really derivative. Maybe we can order our ship to shoot or something. Yeah, well, that's not happening because our ship and everything in it is gone. Gone. My ship is gone. Everything it contained. The researches. My last pair of glasses. My Xenodata collection. Especially my Xenodata collection. Because of you. Kryptman! How can he stand? However godly you may believe yourself, you decrepit space plane, you have done fucked up because you just made it personal! I'll kill you to death! You little boy, boy. <laughs> His willpower actually nullified the Queen's powers. That's hilarious! Stop babbling and kill it now! How dare you, motherfucker! Wait, wait, no, hold on. Wouldn't it be fucker mother? <laughs> what? You know what? Fuck this. Why did we let him into the kill team? He keeps stealing kills. It's a kill team, not a kill individual. Deal with it, bub. Woo! Victory for the fucking righteous! <laughs> Let fuck with Will pay. Don't talk now, Inquisitor. You're only accelerating the oozification of your remaining brain matter. The non queen is already dead. Thanks to your potassium intake. Good boy, boy. Wait, something's not right. What in the Emperor's name was that? It made my betches gland tickle. I would bet on a psychic phenomenon caused by this creature's death. Oh, old man, you're back! Indeed, I suppose we got the desired result after all. Yep, your return to reason proves that the Shadow of the Warp has lost its potency, thanks to the Queen's death. Oh, this might be a terrible blow to the High Fleet, but the battle on the planet's surface is still a problem. 
Oh uh, yeah, about that. I wonder what uh, Captain Weird Free is up to right now. Booyah! Knowledge is power, vermin! <laughs> We're going to talk about the sacrifice of an entire third of the company to make us able to approach this beast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. I thought as much. Pathetic. Inquisitor! Good news! Captain Godfrey, what's the situation? The malefic banana beast has been defeated, and it was indeed effective. It seems the sentience of these beasts has been upset. Absolutely no coordination. Finally, something to hold our ground firmly. Or at least, what rings are So the high fleet has turned into a swarm of decapitated chickens running in circles. Nice. Here's not good. Who you know? You know what Yeah, exactly like I said. Wait. Brother Rudin, is not necessary. Um, if he's like that again, does that mean... Yes, this is not over. But the two primary conduits of the High Fleet are already dead. See, the Queen remains a bloody corpse. Perhaps it gave birth to something in its dying breath. In an incubation chamber far away from here. What me need to for the milk? Whatever is happening, one out of one apothecaries recommend you get out of here now. <laughs> You know, it's actually easy to forget that we're essentially in the belly of a giant beast right now. Death Watch, ready your teleport devices. Guided vectoring shall lead us to the locator beacon upon Victoria Primus. Okay. Why do we use this to get on Victoria Primus first instead of risking our lives here? Because arriving here to kill the Nord Queen was just as damning as taking part in the battle. Holy shit! Just use the fucking teleport homers, you dizzy cat! Mm, yeah, sure. Captain Godfrey, a new problem seems to have arisen. Have you seen anything unexpected on your part? Captain Godfrey, do you copy? I hear you, Inquisitor. Excuse the delay. We had not received intel about a second banana beast. It arrived in the skies just moments ago. Another but How did it look like? How did it look like? Same, but bigger, meaner. With four really nasty swords. Fly! Big monsters have gathered for a coordinated assault, and they're coming right this way! Captain, listen to me. That thing is a swarm war, the same legendary atrocity that bested Manius Calgar himself in combat, nearly slaying the entirety of the Ultramarines a hundred years ago. You and your troops will never be able to withstand this final assault if you act too defensively. Our only hope is to strike the beast hard enough to annihilate it. No sacrifice will be too great! Do you hear me? Copy that. 
Who is my Everyone! Kill the new banana monster at all costs! Well, my apologies. My troops are too busy being dead! Now, where is the marshal? He should be leading his harmonics into. Wait a minute. This is an arrest, Bob! Brought out your weapon! Dead or alive, you're coming with me! Uh, his name shall be remembered in the halls of glory, I suppose. You don't happen to have a plan of action, do you, Canoness? Helping the heroic sacrifice of my sisterhood and that Arbitus will inspire the rest of your troops, I guess. Other than that, the Emperor's life has left this world. It's the Death Watch! We are ready to challenge the Swarm Lord and rid this world of its abominable presence! Over a trail of bodies if necessary. About damn time we got some more action! Oh, I'm better now. Pretty sure we have an 80% chance of dying. Ah! Ah! Incredible power! Ah! Losing strength. Don't you losing strength me, you useless magpie! Bolin, use your dumb wolf magics! Sick no word of the LL first Oh not again! Hey! Yo! They answered out a stress call. Seems my brothers did their job. American, I fucking dare you! Oh, all right. Who the fuck called us? 
Uh, that would be us, on behest of Inquisitor Cryptman of the Autozenos. Seriously? We received about 500,000 fucking spam mails in our box box! Our communication services were all in seizures! Next time, try to kill these insects yourself for once! Oh god, the Tyranids have arrived! Oh! What do you think we are? Space exterminators? Well, since you're veterans of all the tyrannic wars thus far, I'd say that's actually a pretty apt description. Ah! Fuck you! Calm down, Lord of Ultima. There's no need to get violent. Secure your face, you shit fucking original character. You don't even canon! I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Damn it! I mean, this is getting too meta again. Stop it, Skirto Sicarius! A second dire advantage of my absence! Yeah, you might want to check your throne once you're back at McCrag. Also, hail, Lord Kalgar. It is an off- Fuck the shut up, you fucking quitter! You stay in your fancy death watch for the longest schedule possible! That I definitely will, my lord. Sergeant Velomus! Initiate protocol, fuck off! We are finished here! Well, it's been fun, despite the fact that I'm the lone survivor of my entire force and have this lingering urge to lay down and die. Uh, why though? Mercy kill. Ask for the Emperor's peace and it shall be delivered. Also, damn, I need a bigger kill count. The Dark Angels are fucking heretics. Shut up! So, it seems victory upon Victoria Primus has been secured. What happens now? We celebrate at last! The aliens have been vanquished, and Victoria Primus has been kept from their nefarious claws! Are you truly convinced of that, Captain? Hmm? I'm sure everything is intact on the other side of the planet. And thus, everyone eventually got their shit together. The Blood Ravens bid everyone farewell. And not without doing their usual fucking thing, of course. Then, once Cryptman got a new provisory ship, two members of the Death Watch kill team were summoned to report to their Watch Fortress. So let me get this straight. During your ungodly prolonged service to Inquisitor Fidus Cryptman, a Tyranid High Fleet attacked your lone ship, only to withdraw almost instantly. Then you got lost in space, blaming the shadow in the warp for disrupting your sensors, even though it is a psychic phenomenon that affects living beings like psychers, not sensors and arrays and star maps. Then you stumbled upon a hive world that you deemed to be, and I quote, a perfect target for a Tyranid fleet. Only for you to randomly meet an entire company of Blood Raven Space Marines on a whim, who told you that they were, and again, I quote, free of any duties and would like to join you in whatever you are doing. And then you tell me that this Draken character, the researcher working for Inquisitor Cryptman, was allied to the Tyranids. Because apparently, he had something in common with these mindless aliens and wished to join them. Finally, you were fortunate enough to have the Ultramarines themselves come to your rescue without any form of prior notice. Oh, and shortly after your victory, the Blood Ravens, in all of their misappropriating glory, proceeded to come onto your ship and out of all the things you possessed, once more, I quote, stole Cyrus. Yeah, pretty much. I know, I know, Watchmaster Verpa. In retrospect, it might sound... Extremely dumb, yes. Are you certain you weren't just stuck in the warp since last century? Because that would explain a lot. Pretty certain we were not. Or were we? 
Um, what are we to do regarding Cyrus's absence, Watchmaster? You know what? The Blood Ravens can have it their way. I have little to no interest in their schemes. On the contrary, if this helps keep them away from my Watch Fortress, I certainly have no objection. What about Kryptman? What about Kryptman? Well, you know, he had that Draken fellow in his crew. It turned out to be a Xenohorificus. Kryptman knew about it and just kept him for his knowledge and effectiveness at work. He was very adamant about not letting this information leak anywhere. What is your word concerning this? Should it be tolerated? Hmm. Death Watch, can you identify this? It's a sword? Good. Continue to waste my time. Delaying my war councils with this pointless meeting probably only doomed two planets so far. Why not extend the number? Oh, it's a nightlight! That's three planets. Ah, a Xenophase blade. Uh-huh, where is it from? I... am not at liberty to say. Exactly. See that Draken fellow with the same eyes? All know its origins, clearly excepting you, Lenius. But all are forbidden to speak of it, for it is, of course, very embarrassing. So pursuing your Inquisitor for this one radical decision would be hilariously hypocritical. Isn't the entire Imperium built on hypocrisy? Quiet! Your Xeno is dead anyhow. No one cares. So, will we be returning to our kill team now? No. You two are out. Go back to your chapter. Beg your pardon? Considering both that story of yours and your personal files, you two are unfit to be part of the Death Watch after all. Voland, you're too nice and optimistic, and you, Lydius, you're too brash. And your toilet humor is horrid. I hate it. Well, that's shitty to hear. I have already sent forth replacements to make up for your absence. Dismissed. Fuck off. Forgive me, brother. I have failed you. I must atone for my sins. For fuck's sake, Black Shield, all you did was step on my foot and be fine. Are you Captain of Raiders of the Fifth Symphony? No! So we meet again. So, what's the final verdict on the Victoria Primus conflict? Did we make any sort of advancement? Because besides the safeguarding of Imperial assets, this all seemed relatively pointless. We can now conclusively say that Ultramarines win forever and Tyranids are bad. Weren't they always bad? No, only mildly awful. They now reach the level 5 menace, bad. Ah. Uh... But what is left of these insectoid dinosaurs now is just a shadow of their former self. And they were rightly crushed, so what's your point? This Tyranid menace is indeed history. High Fleet Behemoth, that is. We might have not needed to make use of the Exterminatus this time around, but... In my time aboard the Hive ship, after the Norn Queen was vanquished, it leaked a phenomenal psychic message that my mind accidentally intercepted. I received visions of something that might surpass all our worst expectations. I believe I was given the sickened privilege of looking at the very face of our adversary. And what I can say is that it is not a face, but rather a mouth. You're getting a little more grimdark than usual here, Kryptman. Are you feeling okay? No, oh, definitely not. But I'll be better after a good recap. With a lot of milk for my skull bone, it needs to be fortified.
I am Gabriel Angelos, leader of the Fuck Ravens.